I wake up every morning excited to come to work. We're responsible for every vehicle in the city of Montgomery, from a weed eater all the way up to the uh, sanitation trucks. Being able to come out and work and come to work with a job uh, where you don't have to revert to anything dealing with crime. I spent 20 years in prison and to be able to pay a bill, have my own house, that's why I say I'm excited to get up and come to work. When I was released in June of 2017, uh, the end of September, I was actually in a working diesel mechanic working force at uh, Capital Trailways in Montgomery. When I got here uh, at the city lot of Montgomery, man, these guys took me in like family. And uh, within six months, I was in management position because of some of the things that Ingram taught us as far as character and being strong at where you're at. Ingram is very strong on getting us prepared to present ourselves as individuals first. Way before I was in, uh, released, they gave us a list of jobs that were hire us. My instructor, Mr. Randy Hull, along with J.F. Ingram's staff, they would sit down periodically and, and take us through a counseling process, and they would encourage us. Filling out the application wasn't a problem. As far as my skills was concerned, I, I knew I could handle that, but the, the mindset of, of, of coming out of prison, would they accept me? You know, can they look past my past? But Ingram State had some very strong uh, counselors and instructors that really gave us the mindset, hey, if you go in and do what you're supposed to do, they can't deny you. I had an instructor tell me once that, uh, you know, work in silence and let your success be your noise. I mean, they, they pay you for your skills. When I came in, I didn't come in at ground level. I actually came in at what we call a step three because of the skills that I learned in J.F. Ingram. This kind of closed the gap and covered uh, my past. And I'm able to look in the mirror and say, hey, this is who you are. This is what you're supposed to be.